What's going on guys, Spidey here, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you three super powerful mind control hacks that you are going to love. Check it out. Welcome back everyone and first of all I want to apologize for not having posted in a while I've been on a giant cross-country performance tour and I literally have had no time but I'm back I'm here and I am coming back strong this week I'm gonna teach you guys something super powerful now over the last couple of years studying hypnosis performing hypnosis I have found seven mind control hacks is what I call them now usually with hypnosis you have to take your time to really hypnotize someone, put them in a trance before you can get them to feel anything. But these seven hacks are something that you could get people to feel physical sensations in their body immediately. And it works all the time. These are really, really powerful. Now in this video, we're gonna cover three of those seven mind control hacks. Now before we learn them, let me tell you how you can apply these. The first way you can apply this is just as a really fun or cool demonstration. Maybe you're at a party, you're hanging out, you wanna do something cool just straight up as a demonstration to show people that you have some sort of weird mental ability. The second way is if you're a magician or a mentalist and you're doing some sort of really cool mind trick, this could be an extra step in the buildup as a way to convince them that you're connecting with their mind. I use it a lot in that context. Finally, if you're a hypnotist, you can use these right in your induction as a way to really get people into a deeper state of hypnosis. In fact, in my last hypnosis video, which you guys can find in the description or by clicking above, you guys could see how I used two of these in order to really get people uh, to feel what I needed them to feel in the video. And you can scroll down to the comments in that video and see hundreds of people saying how well it worked and how they experienced the things that you're about to learn right now. Okay, so let's get right into it. Basically, I'm about to teach you three things that you can get somebody to feel just because you mention it. In other words, the fact that you make them conscious about this experience causes the experience to happen. It's a really powerful psychological slash hypnotic phenomenon. So here's the first one. In fact, I want you to try it right now. I want you to relax, sit down, take a deep breath of air in, make sure you're comfortable. And right now I want you to notice that under your feet, you are feeling a tingle right at the bottom of your feet, going back and forth. I want you to imagine and become aware of it. Maybe it's more under the right side, maybe it's more under the left side, or maybe you're feeling it under both feet. And there it is. Most of you right now, in fact, probably all of you, felt a slight tingle under one or both of your feet. And the reason this works is simply because just by thinking about it, you cause the tingle to happen. That's the first one. Okay, now for the second one. Check this out. Once again, sit down comfortably, take a deep breath of air in, relax, make sure you're comfortable. And I want you to imagine right now that on the back of your neck, you are feeling a warmth. It starts slow, but then it gets a little bit stronger, almost as if there's a source of heat right behind your neck and you could feel the heat on the back of your neck getting warmer and warmer. And that's the second one. Once again, this only works because you're turning their focus to that and their mind can cause them to feel that warmth. There's a lot of nerves on the back of your neck, a lot of blood going up and down, and it is naturally a pretty warm place. We just never take the time to think about it. So when you shift your consciousness to that, you just feel it more. Okay, so the third one is very similar to the second one, except for the location is different. Let's try it right now. Sit down comfortably, take a deep breath of air in, relax, and I want you now to notice that you are feeling a bit of a warmth under your armpits. Right under your armpits, it's starting to get a little bit warm. Maybe it's the left one a little bit more, maybe it's the right one a little bit more, or maybe they're both warming up right now. Notice that. And once again, this third one is very simple. Our armpits are naturally very warm, but no one notices it. So when you shift your thoughts to that, you can actually cause yourself to experience it and increase it. So all you're doing is you're getting their mind to focus on that and as a cause, they're actually feeling it. And that's how hypnosis works. This is just really cool, quick ways to get them to experience these things. Now a quick note before I leave you with this powerful information. You never want to go up to someone and be like, all right, yo, check this out, I'm gonna show you something. There's a tingle under your feet. 
because it's kind of like you kind of want to set it up like something cool is about to happen. Like I said, sit down, relax, breathe, and then just shift their focus to it. Speak slowly, speak confidently, like in all of hypnosis, that's super important, and repeat the suggestion. You could feel it now under your feet. Is it under the left one or the right one, or are they both tingling? So you really like get them to focus on that. If you really want to see how I use this, go and check out my last hypnosis video. Once again, link in description and you can see exactly how I integrated this into the hypnosis and that might really help you get better results with this information. Okay, so as I said, I have a total list of seven of these mind hacks that I use all the time in my hypnosis and mentalism work. Now the other four, I'm not 100% sure I want to teach because they're super strong and I literally use them all the time. So here's what I'm going to make a deal with you guys. If you want to learn the other four, you guys got to help me out. So like this video, comment on the video, let me know how you're using these, how they're working out for you. Turn your notifications on and share this video. When this video gets to 50,000 views, I will share the other four. So that could happen in a week or it can happen in a year. Whenever that happens to be, when this video gets to 50,000 views, I will teach you guys on this channel the other four mind hacks that you can use to convince people that you are controlling their minds. Hope you enjoyed this guys. Let me know what you thought and I will see you on the next one.